Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Happy Metal Tales. I'm your host, Steve Kitts. Grady's New Knife. One sunny afternoon in Happy Meadow, Robbie the Rabbit and Benny the Squirrel were playing near a big oak tree when they saw Grady, Farmer Brown's grandson, walking towards them. Grady had a big smile on his face and something shiny in his hand. Hey, Robbie. Hey, Benny, Grady called out, waving enthusiastically. Hi, Grady. What's that that you got there? Robbie asked, his ears perked up with curiosity. Grady proudly held out a small, gleaming pocket knife. It's my new pocket knife. Grandpa gave it to me. It's got a sharp blade and a tiny saw and even a little screwdriver. I've been using it to whittle sticks. Benny's eyes sparkled with excitement. Wow, that's cool. Can I see it? Of course, Grady said, handing the knife to Benny. Benny examined it very close, admiring their craftsmanship. Robbie, always curious, hopped closer. What have you made with it so far? Grady rushed into his backpack and pulled out a small wooden figure of a rabbit. I made this one yesterday, and I thought it looked a lot like you, Robbie. Robbie's eyes widened with delight. That's amazing, Grady. You're really good at this. Grady smiled and reached into his pocket and pulled out two smaller knives. You know, I have an extra knife here. If you guys want, you can learn to whittle together with me. I'll show you how. Benny's tail twitched with excitement. Really? That would be awesome! Grady handed the extra knives to the boys. They found a few sticks nearby. All right, let's start with something simple. We can make little figures or shapes. Just be careful with the blade and always cut away from yourself. The three friends sat together under the shade of the big oak tree. Their laughter mingled with the sounds of the meadow. Grady demonstrated how to hold the knife and to make smooth, careful cuts. Robbie and Benny watched closely, then began to mimic his movements, slowly getting the hang of it. As the afternoon wore on, they shared stories and jokes, enjoying each other's company. Robbie managed to carve a little figure of a boy, while Benny created a tiny acorn with a smiley face. Grady had finished his version of Benny today as well. Grady helped them refine their work, offering tips and encouragement. Whittling is so much fun, Benny said, admiring his creation. It really is, Robbie agreed, looking at his little figure with pride. Thanks for teaching us, Grady. Grady grinned. I'm glad you guys liked it. We should do this more often. Robbie and Benny gave Grady their creation, and Grady gave them what he had made for them. They all cherished having something handmade and from the heart. As the sun began to set, casting a warm golden glow over Happy Meadow, the three friends packed up their tools and admired each other's handiwork. They had not only learned new skills, but they had shared a memorable day together, strengthening their bond. With the new creations in hand and smiles on their faces, Robbie, Benny, and Grady knew that this was just the beginning of many more adventures they would have in Happy Meadow. The End